So I'm Mark Tavellas, I'm a producer on Need for Speed. I was in charge of uh, creating the HDE this year for uh, Need for Speed Undercover. And one of the challenges this year was creating an action title that was very accessible with the physics. Uh, we wanted to create a whole bunch of crazy cool maneuvers that, you know, with essentially a flick of the button or a flick of the stick, um, can place into the hands of the user, uh, you know, a very enjoyable, easy experience. So this year, we started off with a simple burnout. So essentially, you're just holding both the LT and RT triggers down, spooling up those tires, getting the smoke uh, billowing out of the fenders there. And all I'm going to do here is just let go of the brakes, hold the throttle down, and bam, we're off. That essentially started, okay, that was pretty generic, where can we go from there? So we said, you know, start with the 360, so you do the same thing, you release the brake and you hold the steering all the way to one way. That puts the car into a you know, beautiful 360. The camera stays stationary, first time ever where you're able to see the full 360 of the car. Um, you see all that realistic suspension movement as we're running over the curb as well, it looks really beautiful and cool. Physics is all doing it naturally, nothing's being faked, phonied, you know, we, we went uh, basically from 40 attributes say six seven years ago to up to 400 everything's based on curves speed um, we can tune essentially every parameter of the car so then we got the uh, we got the you know the brakes down we went to the 360 so then we said why can't we do a 180 so essentially with a flick of the the e-brake and a flick of the steering we're into a 180 let's leave the camera stationary there and all we have to do now the camera's perfect for reverse driving camera rotates around and now we're reverse driving so it's very touchy as in real life you have to be really sensitive for the stick little taps will do but now we're actually driving in reverse something we've never ever had before in any need for speed and essentially uh, you get a totally different perspective You're looking at the front of the car now so now that we have reverse driving we said okay very cool let's do can we do J turns with a flick of a switch so all we do is flick boom we're the other way Let's see that uh, combined. So let's go into a J-turn, goes into reverse, flick of a switch, boom, we're back, going the other way with the J-turn there. So then we said, okay, all, all that's separating now to do 360s, it's just doing that faster. So let's get, gather some speed here. So there's a perfect one there. So nice and sharp and crisp. Let's do one more. To show it shows that uh, that one wasn't a fluke. <laughs> nice and simple. And there we go. Nice and reactive. It's just showing you how you know flicks of the switch and flicks of the controls allow you just to dance around, finesse the car. I'm going to show you now how that's possible. If, if you pretty much spin the car around in this light, first time again ever where you're able to see the side of the car completely. Um, you'll notice the fenders here. How, how much suspension movement there is in the, in the car. That's all happening naturally. That's all, you know, we have uh, progressive uh, springs, we have digressive shocks, we have roll bars, we have everything based on speed. So we are able to go and diagnose problems in the car all the way through uh, the development of, of our titles and essentially hand tune each and every single car perfectly. And each one of the cars feels different. That's the other thing, you know, all-wheel drives feel different than front to rears as well. And within those categories, depending on weight, depending on wheelbase, depending on ride height, everything handles and has its own character. The other thing is drifting. We don't have, uh, as per se, drifting um, modes of drifting. We have drifting right into the game. That was funneled right through. So I'm able to essentially go through a long corner as long as I keep my throttle pinned and counter steer, I'm going to keep the drift going. So there you go, you saw drift right through that corner. So let's get some speed here again. That's NOS. Counter steer, and you see as soon as I counter steer, boom, the car comes right out of it. When you don't counter steer, you go in, boom, you're going to spin out the car. Physics thinks, okay, he's holding the e-brake long enough, he wants to do a maneuver, or he's, you know, you broke that traction point where you've gone past 100% of the tire and you're going around. So some other inputs that we put in uh, that are very cool this year to give the player more control is the double tap feature. It's whenever you're coming up to a roadblock or you want to change directions quickly, um, you'll notice all I'm going to do here is double tap the brakes here. I'm in fourth gear, double tap, and I go instantly into reverse. This car is stopped and I'm spooled already up to 50, 60 miles per hour. 
That allows quick transitions, allows me to get away from cops, allows me to spin off cops, super simple. The other thing that we put in is, is we catered really to NOS. Not only does NOS, you know, blow by the opponents, <clears throat> we also made it so the NOS puts the power to the ground. As I'm going into the drift, I can hit the e-brake, NOS at the same time. You just saw I did, just did a uh, nitro drift there. The style points popped up. So again, I'll show you, we're gonna drift, NOS at the same time, and I'm NOSing and counter steering at the same time to really keep the drift going. So timing is crucial, timing is key. Like I, I can't stress enough, nothing is faked. It has been my duty over the last seven, eight years uh, back when, since Hot Pursuit 2, we're developing underground to create a physics engine that was powerful. All that work is a culmination of what we made in the Need for Speed Undercover.